Hey guys, it's not Wednesday again, but I'm still alive. Just about. So I have to apologise for not being that great with keeping up my videos over the last two weeks, but when we started the Oxvlog project, we agreed that we weren't going to censor the less positive parts of our experiences here. And I have to admit, the last two weeks have been really challenging. Uh, <clears throat> essentially, what happened is that on the Sunday of second week, I found myself in a bit of a subject crisis and tried to make a switch from human sciences to experimental psychology. Now, I know a lot of you will find this quite unusual considering my last video was all about extolling the virtues of the human sciences course, but I think the decision was partly conditioned by the fact that I was feeling incredibly overwhelmed in the first two weeks, and I imagine I would have been regardless of the university that I went to. So what ensued from me trying to change was the decision by the tutors for human sciences and psychology, uh, believing that I should trial the psychology course. So I went to all of their lectures, I went to one of their tutorials, um, while also keeping up the uh, work that I had for human sciences that week. I had not only an interview, um, but also a thinking skills assessment scheduled for the next week. Uh, and by the time it, it got around to the day, which was the Wednesday of fourth week, um, I was absolutely exhausted. Doing one degree at Oxford is challenging enough, so you can only imagine how difficult it would be trying to do two simultaneously. Uh, so ultimately I decided not to change course. Uh, it wasn't just the fact that I couldn't do the interview, but also the fact that there are a lot of things that I like about human sciences uh, that I would have lost had I gone ahead with experimental psychology. So from the perspective that I have now, deciding not to change has been the right choice. So in spite of the last two weeks having quite a few negatives, I really think that there is a massive positive that can come from this, in that I get to, I get to be the shining example of the Oxford student who isn't perfect, because the vast majority of us, in fact all of us, aren't perfect. We frequently make mistakes, we feel overwhelmed, uh, at times we even question whether we're worthy of being here. It's Those kind of feelings aren't unusual, but what's important for you as potential applicants to take from that is that if you come here for interviews, you're certainly not expected to be the fully formed product. You're not expected to be perfect. What you are expected to have is a genuine passion for your subject. And I've really put an emphasis on the word genuine in there because it is very important that you act, that you really do enjoy your subject. And, and of course, the potential to succeed here. Having a passion for your subject, as well as having the potential to do well here, are two things that are very different from having an exceptionally privileged background. The first two tutors care about, uh, and the last is largely irrelevant to them. I know I had quite a few questions and comments on my last video that I haven't got back to, uh, so I'm going to try and get back on track of, of things, but I thought it'd be really helpful if I answered them in the description below. So if you did ask anything, then have a look there. Next week, I'll be catching up with the other Ox vloggers by giving you a tour of my room and of New College. Thanks for watching, guys.